Taylor from Toledo, Ohio, is up on his feet and congratulating Taylor. I'm afraid he was outclassed. Bose Redwoods, the former world champion wearing the white trunks, Southpaw, leads with his right. And the man he faces here, Melvin Paul, from New Orleans, is giving away quite a bit of height and reach here. And he's had a few problems today because of the weigh-in. He failed to make the nine stone, ten pound limit that this match is made at. He had to go away and steam some weight off and came back eventually at nine, nine and three quarters. There's no telling what that little bit of steaming might have done to his stamina. Bozer Edwards, the former WBC junior lightweight champion in the white trunks. Against Melvin Paul from New Orleans, a former US national and Golden Gloves amateur champion. At one time considered to be a pretty hot prospect, but uh, the form more recently hasn't been quite as good. Bozer Edwards' first appearance in London for three years. We did see him in Belfast in October last year, and he stopped Charlie Choo Choo Brown of Pennsylvania in three rounds. And last year, Melvin Paul met the same man and got outpointed over 15 rounds for the vacant International Boxing Federation lightweight title against Choo Choo Brown. So on that form line, Paul is at a considerable disadvantage here against this taller former world champion. Doesn't seem all that time since we were watching Bozer Edwards as an amateur, but now he's a veteran professional, 28. World Championship behind him. Still a formidable opponent for anybody in the world. And Paul is putting together one or two useful counter punches, although he's uh, He's got to get in close to make his punches work, but uh, he's doing that. He's told to close his gloves, but the danger signal was there for Bozer. And one remembers how Bozer Edwards lost his world title in Italy at the right hand of Rolando Navarrete, and he's been pushed over. No knockdown. Bozer grins, so does Sid Nathan, the referee. Paul doesn't. Uh, was a lively little stop by this American, Melvin Paul, known as the Tank in America. And the big guy in front of him is his manager, Leslie Bonanno. And uh, he's had 23 pro fights, Melvin Paul, 19 wins and four defeats. He won his first 15 pro fights off the reel. This is scheduled for 10 rounds. This is the second. And uh, Bozer in the white trunks need to keep his left hand up and guarding that, that uh, chin. He's been noticeably vulnerable over the years to right hands high up. And that's how he lost his world title. And Paul clearly knows a lot about that. And again, he's slinging punches fast. Paul getting inside and he's finding the target. Side of the glove again, that one. Be some, uh, some upset this if Bozer were to lose this. Oh! Well, there's a change of the uh, script. Second round, and Paul is over and probably out. Out, counted out before he could get up. Doesn't know where he is. Round two, Bozer Edwards puts together a sensational finish. After looking 
a little bit vulnerable in the opening round and then suddenly produces the goods in the second. And Melvin Paul, the tank, doesn't know where he is or what's happened to him. He was counted out, coming up on his feet. Paul has been counted out after one minute, three seconds of round two. Bosa Edwards is the winner. Well, this was some finish by Bosa. He was looking a bit vulnerable. And then suddenly, a sweeping left hand, which came from way back behind his shoulder, just took the man totally by surprise, and he didn't beat the count. And so the 28-year-old Cornelius Bosa Edwards, the former WBC junior lightweight champion, serves notice once again tonight here in this little cockpit of boxing at Bethnal Green that he's a dangerous opponent for any man in the world. What a good fighter that Bose Redwood still is. He was a refugee from Idi Amin's Uganda many years ago. Now today, the New Zealand rugby...